Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Build a Space Station. Now as you can see the station is coming along really well. We've got that outer rim and the main inside Hannah all built. And as I said last episode today we're going to focus on furnishing the inside of that big Hannah. Or at least the bottom half of it will be this episode. So I got straight to work. And I started by laying out a big circular wall, a bit indented back from the staircase that would make up the front wall of all the rooms on this floor. And I split that wall into four quadrants to allow little passages down to the side, giving it just a bit of variation so it wasn't one big bland circle. I wanted to mix it up a little bit so you can see me running around and creating four segments by cutting off each corner of this circle. Now I said before that I wanted there to be housing in this middle sector so I started off by building room sort of faces each one having its own door and window and after I'd put out a section of those I would go inside and create some walls between them to make the actual different rooms. This would be where your sort of average worker resident of the space station would be staying. It might be military presence and recruits, it might be civilians who are living here, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I went around and I set out rooms on this first ring down from the centre of this hammer. And you can see me just repeating this along all of the quadrants here and editing some of the walls slightly just to make it fit. Now I asked you guys what else I should include and I got a ton of comments and the majority said they wanted some sort of power station, a nuclear power, a gravity generator, something along those lines and I was actually planning on making that second ring down a nuclear power station but I thought to myself a nuclear power station that's a really unstable fin. If that fin was to blow it would completely destroy the whole of the space station and that's a very big risk and I thought how would the space station combat that risk and I decided to make use of these outer rings that we're gonna have you can see me building the first one here and I thought we could house our nuclear power station on this ring and have a jettison mechanism so if the reactor were to become unstable the whole ring could detach and be flowing away from the space station so that the rest would remain intact. So it's not quite what everyone commented and asked for, but I thought it's the same principle, but just sort of thought out how they would actually do it if this was a real creation. So I hope you guys are happy with that. You can of course let me know if you are not. But I just, I was gonna say, I really love it, the amount of support that you guys are giving to these videos, all the comments and likes on these um, Let's Build videos are becoming really great and it's really rewarding to know that you guys are enjoying what I'm creating and seeing that support is really good and encouraging to keep making this show so thank you guys but again back to what I'm doing here you can see me designing a smaller um, rin section this is almost if you imagine a sphere pushed from the top and bottom so flattened that has a sort of shape I toyed around with building an antenna but in the end I wasn't really happy with how it turned out and I actually changed it to be a sort of skylight window. I'm kind of trying to copy the architecture of the main inside hangar here, but also changing it slightly to try and give something with a bit of variance and something going on rather than just a complete steel block structure. So you can see me here adding in these dark matter blocks just for a bit of variation. And I actually come around and change that slightly so that they cut off leaving the top section up and open with just steel blocks and I then add in that skylight that I was talking about. Or do I do that a bit later? Maybe I do, I can't remember. I must do. So as you can see, copying the idea we had around the entrance into the big hangar with a circle of green lights, I went around doing that and added in, adding it up with some redstone alloy wire. Red alloy wire? I forget the name of it. And I actually changed my mind here and thought I would add another copper ring in, which unfortunately knocked out all that wire I just placed. So I had to go and fill in all those gaps to get that light lit up again. And here we go finally with that skylight that I've been going on about and playing around with some little bits of detail. 
And then I came around, added in a three or two thick reinforced glass sort of panoramic view again. I'm quite keen on that idea for the space station. And you can see there I'm checking the map overview, seeing what it looks like. And I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. So I then plan to go and just replicate what I've just built there on screen on the bottom half to make a symmetrical build. So I'm going to skip ahead here so you don't have to watch me building the same thing twice. But let's see, there we go. I'm now coming in, I'm laying out a bottom here, almost finished replicating the same area. And I was trying to figure out how I wanted to fit this nuclear reactor in here. I also had to think a bit about how the jet jettison mechanism would work. We'll come on to that in just a bit. And I was thinking, how would it work having this nuclear reactor in here? And obviously this is a very highly radioactive source, so it's not something I can just have anybody wander into. It's going to have to be kept on quite a high level of security. So I eventually settled on the idea that I would go and build a large reinforced glass and reinforced stone container in the centre of this outer ring, and I would inside there have the nuclear reactor itself, or the power would be led out and transformed in the outer section of this outer ring. That's a lot of outers. I hope you're following me. <laughs> and then all the power would be brought into the main hanger where I could process it into a usable format. So that might actually be a bit of a generator room, which is what everybody suggested. So you might actually get it just as you suggested. But here now you can see I've been building the connection between the outer rain and the outer disk. I'm going to have to find better ways of describing these fins so I can talk about them a little more clearly. But anyway, here you can see I am now going and building the container for the nuclear reactor out of reinforced stone and reinforced glass. And I then come around to make the reactor itself. Now, this wouldn't actually be a functional one if this was a serious playthrough, but I wanted a thicker block than just the usual one thick reactor surrounded by six chambers. And then I also went around building some reinforced stone struts that would hold it up. So I felt that gave a very nice effect of this reactor raised and held up in the center of this room, making it seem a really important feature, which it is. It's what will provide power to the whole space station. I then designed some fins with CPUs and monitors and IOX expanders, which are all computery blocks. I didn't have any function for these, they were just simply to add a bit of decoration and make fins look quite nice. And I think they did that very well, it added a lot of what seems like very important function to the room, which gives it a really nice effect for when you're in a build. Having an interior is something I haven't done on many builds, but it definitely makes fins look very good. And now you can see me here just finishing off some spots and making everything look nice and tidy before adding in the actual MFSU and transformers and ways to get the power. You can see there that cable running around the outside is the way that I used to get the power through to where we will eventually do something with it in the main hangar. But right now I am designing two engines to go onto the back of this outer disk and this is going to be our jettison mechanism. It's going to be a way that if the reactor fails and something goes horribly, horribly wrong, we can detach this disk and we can fly it out away, maybe crash it into a into a sun or just into outer space where there'll be nothing that would be destroyed by the explosion. And it's sort of a safety mechanism of using such an unstable power source. Now I tried to design a sort of clamp mechanism that would hold the disc in place until it needs to be released to be jettisoned. You can see me doing that here, but in the end I wasn't quite happy with how it turned out. So I decided to get rid of it completely. If any of you guys have any suggestions of how I could build this looking better, because at the minute it doesn't look very good at all and I end up destroying it. So if you've got any ideas, make sure to let me know in that comment section and I might come back and have another stab at trying to build this system. But in the end, I decided to leave that alone. 
So I then went back to those houses we built at the start of this episode, and I started to flesh them out again with a bit of interior design, mixing up the rooms with iron chests, because I felt they fitted very well with the colour scheme of this build, and some beds and monitors, because in a futuristic space station like this, computers would be a very normal thing to have in everybody's room, so I made sure to include a monitor in each. You see me there just rewiring some of the redstone as it was affecting the door controls, but there was no problems, I just moved it around a bit, and it all ended up alright. I also included a kitchen kind of area on this floor because of course people are going to need to eat, and if we have a lot of residents that will be uh, something we'll need to look at. And that was it for this episode guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. We got quite a bit done, we managed to flesh out some rooms, and if we come across this walkway, we built our power station disc. And I might change the outer look of this to make it very distinguishable, and maybe try that antenna and that clamp again, but that'll be something I try out next time. I'm really happy with what work we've got done today, I'm glad that it was something that you guys suggested that we managed to build, because I really want this to be an interactive thing. So I'm probably going to next episode take a stab at finishing that inside hammer and maybe even another outer disc. So why don't you guys leave me some suggestions about what you'd like to see on that outer disc and we'll see if we can make it happen. So as always guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello again guys, one last thing I wanted to talk to you about. Since making this video I've had quite a lot of comments asking about the possibilities of a Tech It Let's Play. Now for any of you new subscribers who might not know, I actually did a Tech It Let's Play back when it was just me on this channel and I didn't have anyone else like Mitch with me. And I believe it got to around 40 parts and I stopped doing it when I had to stop for exams and never really got back into it. I went off and tried some of the fins. A lot of people have commented on videos like this on the last part of that Tech Let's Play and on the new War Against the Wither series, which if you haven't already seen, I would really recommend checking out. I really like that series. It's me and Mitch just having a fun time and not being that great in Minecraft, so what more could you want? But yes, a lot of people have suggested or asked about the continuation of this series, the Tech Let's Play. So I want to gauge how much you guys sort of would like that. So let me know in the comments, would you want me to continue this Let's Play Tech It series that I'd already started? I was considering possibly working in with the story that ran along that, meeting up with Mitch and then updating to the new version of Tech It, because as you guys may know, I play Tech It Classic, or at least when I was playing it, it was the only version. But since then, there's been some new mods added and some changes, so it might be cool to do a Let's Play in that version and see what's new. So let me guys know what you think. That might be something that we start up again if there's a lot of people that would like that. And that's about it, guys. So once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.